Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. They tell a great story. You look at Indiana. They couldn't hold their position this week, but remain in the top ten. Seeing where the Hornets are, they're one of those teams that people seem to underestimate. Not expecting to be this high on the list at this point in the year. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Young and Bogdanovich are the guards. Hunter is out there with Riza Shea. And it's Okongwu in at the five spot. And for the Hornets. A bit forward, it's Miller and Bridges. LaMelo Ball is out there with Trey Mann. And it's MP in at the five. And by now, we know how much it would mean to MP to win Rookie of the Year. He recognizes he's only got one shot at it. And as strong as his play's been, you can be sure he's looking for even more tonight. He doesn't have much time left to separate himself from the other contenders. We'll find out soon just how much the award really means to him. Okongwu with a screen on ball. And here's Young from the arc. The playoff picture coming into focus now, Greg, with the good portion of this regular season behind us. And for the teams that are definitely in, they're trying to maintain momentum and health, right? But for the teams still clawing and fighting their way in, that's where it gets exciting. The Hawks have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And Bogdanovich kicks to Hunter. Pass to Young. Okongwu with the screen for Young. Offline with his three. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Caught up with Coach Charles Lee. Now I asked him about trying to slow down Trey Young, and the coach said you have to get the ball out of his hands. He can hurt you with the pass and with his shot. I'm not going to be surprised if you see them blitzing and doubling him a good portion of the game. Back to you. Thank you, David. Buries it from three-point range. He's got a nose for the bucket. Risha Shea ready to go once he got it. And it's sent back by Okongwu. He takes it in. Young trying to break free. And that one's good, Risha Shea. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Pass to Hunter. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Defended by Mann. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. And this is why Bogdanovich has a permanent green light from the arc. Frankly, the team expects this from him. MP, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Young. There's the drive. Goes up and lays. It nice and easy. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. And timeout is called by Charles Lee. He's ready to talk things through with the team. Now we have a chance to pay homage to the Eastern Conference Player of the Week, MP. Basketball is one of the few sports where good offense beats good defense, and nobody has had better offense than him lately. I don't think there's anybody in the league that could have slowed him down on offense. He was unstoppable, to say the least. Wow, MP in the catch and shoot, just ready as soon as he touches the basketball. Pass to Bogdanovich. Shoots from the elbow. 
Miller grabs the miss. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot that. Offense is designed to generate this guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. And here is Hunter. Hunter the screen. Reza Shea wide open. No good on the three. The Hornets have gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Well, Doris, there's no question Miles Bridges is a talented scorer out on the wing. You are exactly right, Kevin. This is a young man capable of putting up 20 points per game on a nightly basis. Now I want to see Bridges take strides as a defender. He has to show more commitment on that end of the floor. Pass to man. Deep two from Ball, and he drops that one in. Ball's got his second basket of the night. Well, LaMelo, ball in the catch-and-shoot game. He says, I can get off the ball as well. To the inside. MP against Okongwu. Here's Reza Shea. Young outside. Six on the shot clock. Off target with his three. Charlotte trailing. Here's Ball. And Charlotte again with the bucket. Yeah, just take what the defense gives you. If they concede the mid-range, LaMelo says, I like that shot. Now, here is Young. He had 25 points last game. A three from Bogdanovich. Hits it from three-point range. Bogdanovich has got six. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Miller, the pass to MP. That one drops for him. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. It's Young on the wing. 20 feet out. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Hornets trail by three. MP kicks to Bridges. There's Ball with the three, and the three ball is good. He's got nine. Boy, he's heating up fast coming out of the gate. Four out of five from the field. It's Young on the wing. That falls. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. Miller, no luck. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Pass to Hunter. Let's the three fly. Sinks the three-pointer. And the defense has to recognize this. Hunter is a legit threat to shoot off the catch. Ball against Young. Ball no good. Atlanta leading by five. Break their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking it. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, guys. MP in the last game against San Antonio played some superb basketball. He added 37 points, and as you may have guessed with him, a lot of those were on the three ball. Just a fantastic night for him. Kai, he wants to have every night, I'm sure. Guys? 
All right, David, thanks. It's going to be interesting to see how he follows up that performance. Yeah, he was the driving force behind that victory, but each night comes with different challenges. What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. Right wing. Okongwu with the screen for Riza Shea. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, Risha Shea does a nice job of drawing the contact on his way up. Now, a chance at the line. That one is no good. And for Atlanta, they come in off a good outing against the Nets. That mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. I thought what really stood out was how dominant they were on the offensive end. That was about as flawless as you could hope for. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Hawks lead by four. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Well, from what you guys are seeing from the Hawks, what are you thinking about their performance? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. On the court for Atlanta. Bogdanovich on the wing. He's paired with Riza Shea. Hands out there with Hunter. And it's Young in at the point. Nance outside. Outside Bogdanovich. No good from outside. Charlotte has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. And you know, Brandon Miller may not have the experience to so far in the NBA, but boy, does he have a feel for the game. And Kevin, that to me is something you can't teach. The ability at a young age to read situations well. He can mix his pace. He can create his own space for his shot. The game has already seemed to slow down for this young guy. Greg, we know about the Euro step, but is the D cell the next move that's getting more notice? I think it is, Kevin, and, and you can see players have quickly incorporated that into their arsenal. It's been fun to watch, man, and I tell you, it creates some uncomfortable situations. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Bogdanovich finds Young. They need this, and it's good on the way in. Young's got eight points. When you watch Young, there's that courage to his game. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. MP dishes to Miller. Not three off the mark. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for him. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing to them offensively. The points just haven't been there for him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustment. Hunter's checked in for the Hawks. MP outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. He's got 11. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. 
Here's Young. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. It's MP muscling his way for two. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Young sets a screen for Reza Shen. With the floater, they get it back. Pass to Roddy. Takes a three. That doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. Well, you can see why the defense dared him to shoot it. That's not really his spot. And timeout is called by Charles Lee. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Charlotte making some changes. Bridges comes in for Mark Williams. And it's Michich in for ball. Larry Nance has checked in for Atlanta. Here are the Hornets with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Gregson's making it to the Eastern Conference Finals in 2021. The Atlanta Hawks haven't been that good. And it was hard to tell if that was a Cinderella run at the time. But Kevin looking like that might have been the outlier. The Hawks took some risks to get back there. But it just hasn't worked. Young from outside. Again, Young missing. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Olney. David? Kevin, thanks. I asked Quinn Snyder what he enjoys most about coaching, and the Hawks coach said the opportunity to compete in such an intense way. Also, the tactics of the game and the intellectual part of player development. It's rewarding to see and have a part in someone's growth and improvement. Kevin? Maybe that's coaching, right? Growth and development. A mind for the game, for sure. I've always respected Coach Snyder. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Okongwu comes in for Larry Nance. And Hunter subbed in for Reza Shea. Just three to shoot. A three from Bogdanovich. Atlanta again missing. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Miller's got the lead up to 10 now for the Hornets. Atlanta has got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. And timeout is called by Quinn Snyder. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy. He's checked in for the Hawks. And let's take a minute now to give a tip of the cap to the top rookie defenders in the NBA this season. And Zachary Rizache, number two. MP third. 
and really both showing a gift at the defensive end, applying pressure and picking pockets. Trying to end the drought. And the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Bogdanovich. Showing off his inside game. Bogdan is an all-around scorer. The three from MP. Rebound by the Hawks. Okongwu's now got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Reza Shea, covered by Miller. And here's Bogdanovich for three. MP grabs the miss. MP's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. When you see a young player with a level of physicality, MP doing work on the inside. So, Greg, you played the point. Uh, and create a player, if you had to pick a different position to play, which would it be? Ooh, good question, Kevin. Probably small forward, wing. Uh, I'd like to be a fearsome finisher who can soar and dunk over everybody. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for sure. How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another. And that can be infectious. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break, taking those chances, playing with great pace. To the paint. And Okongwu slams it in. And how about the find by Trey, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. And it's time for an injury report. And let's get an update on LaMelo Ball's injury with David Aldridge. Well, guys, I had a minute to catch up with the Hornets' head athletic trainer. And unfortunately, it sounds pretty serious. And if he misses a lot of games, it will obviously be a big blow to their chances of winning it all this year. Thank you, David. Guys, the only thing you can wish for is that the prognosis isn't quite as bad as they're making it out to be. Yeah, that, that's a tough one. Was really hoping for better news than that, but that does not sound encouraging. No, I mean, this is a big blow, and it will force the team to make some adjustments, not just in terms of personnel in the court, but in terms of strategy. And here's Young from the arc. And with the rebound. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Bridges deciding where to go with it. Man passes to MP. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Hawks. Hunter's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Okongwu. Good defense by MP. Charlotte leading by four. Bridges finds MP. Book it! MP with a tough shot. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now, Reza Shea. He's got five. Hunter on the wing. Shot clock at five. Here's Young, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Young's got four points in the quarter. Back to MP. MP rattling the rim. What an incredible game so far for MP. He's showing no signs of slowing down. Outside Bogdanovich. 50 seconds left in the first half. There's the three. It's hauled in by MP. MP's got his sixth rebound on the night. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. Micic, the pass to MP. On the wing, man. From downtown. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. And the Hornets making a change here. Williams has checked in. The Hawks trail by six. Here's Young. He's got ten. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. 
The Hawks shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And it's become clear what a leader Young is on this team. He senses when they need an infusion of confidence and always tries to provide it. MP outside. Oh, MP sinks the triple. Yeah, it's such a sweet three-point stroke there, and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. For real, come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And so it's MP making things happen for the Hornets. We witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he notched three total in the quarter. We'll get you back to the action after this break. In that game against the Warriors, coin toss. In fact, I'm going to make a prediction. This game goes to the left. And guys, the Charlotte Hornets are in an even game. They're clicking from outside. Hard cups to the ball and a few bone jarring. Thanks for joining us. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. Up it forward, it's Miller and Bridges. Trey Mann is out there with LaMelo Ball. And it's MP in at the center, filling out the middle. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. And nice dime from Hunter there. An unselfish player who knows how to look for his teammates. MP kicks to Bridges. Man passes to MP. Fires from deep. Man gets the bucket. Man's got five points so far. And you can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Good on that shot. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Young. Here's MP. Oh, MP makes it look easy. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Young finds Okongwu. Pat Donovich wide open. Misses the three. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Here is the list of players with the most boards in the league this month. The NBA's leading rebounders. MB is number one. He must be spending a lot of time in the weight room because he's shown such strength under the basket. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Ninety seconds now into the second half. Bogdanovich dishes to Young. Asta Rizache. Hunter on the wing. Rizache with it. Five points in the game. Five to shoot. A three from Bogdanovich. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. MP with it. Okongwu covering. And here's MP for three. Rebound Atlanta. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That'll be the first of two straight at home. And Young kicks to Bogdanovich. Okongwu with the screen for Young. Offensive rebound. And Okongwu slams it in. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. Reza Shea in the corner. Young with no one around. 
from outside off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Back to MP. Hunter grabs the miss. Hunter's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Jacks up a three. Buries the long-range jumper. Hunter's got 11 points. A very consistent three-point shooter. Hunter shoots it well from there because of how confident he is. And Reza Shea, the prototypical size and skill for a wingman. Yeah, he's got some jelly to his game. Handle, touch at his size. That becomes very tough to contain. Okongwu down low. MP's there. Okongwu, the pass to Hunter. Bogdanovich, that's for two. And it's MP with the rebound. Charlotte leading by four. Bridges outside. Back to MP. It's good. MP's got 33. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Back to Young. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Reese Shea. Off target from outside. The Hornets have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. MP, no good. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. Young outside. Fires the three. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Reza Shea with the steal. Last break here. Here come the Hawks. Good on that shot. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Young. And this guy can light up the night with his scoring. Hard for the defense to contain Young. Ball, the pass to MP. Rebounded by the Hawks. Okongwu's now got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Young looking around. Okongwu with the screen for Young. Good on the three-point shot. And now just a one-point Hornets lead. Ooh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. MP outside. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. And timeout is called by Quinn Snyder. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. Mark Williams has checked in for the Hornets. It's getting late in the season. Let's now see the standings out east. As you take a look at Charlotte, they've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. And, of course, there's the Hawks, their 10th best in the conference. And I think for the Hornets, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. Well, this is their goal. There's no doubt about that. For what many expected of them so far, they have not disappointed. For Atlanta, they have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. At the wing position, Risha Shea has pretty much everything you're looking for, right? Length, mobility, three-point shooting. And add to that, he has a great feel for the game. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Young pass to Hunter. Pass to Okonwu. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. And a chance here to check out some stats for DeAndre Hunter. And guys, I think the best way to measure his performance these last 10 games is his effective field goal percentage, which has improved. A sign that his game is in much better shape than it was not too long ago. Back to ball. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Wow, LaMelo is always a tough matchup, but tonight almost impossible. 
Hunter the pass to Okongwu. Back to Hunter. And it's Hunter with the jam. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Ball no good. The Hawks trail by four. 102 left in the third quarter. Bogdanovich dishes to Young. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And although he's smaller, Young willing to battle inside and shows you he can score through contact. We're talking about Trey Young here, G.A. What stands out most about him to you? Well, Kevin, I, I'd say just how confident he is, right? He, he plays with that unique energy and swagger. I mean, you love him if he's on your team and can't stand him if he's playing against you. Bridget for three. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Bridges has got his first three points of the game. Pass to Hunter. For three. The rebound by LaMelo Ball. Enzo, MV, will bring it up for the Hornets. They've led by as much as 10. Unable to get that one. The second chance effort. Okongwu grabs the board. Okongwu's now got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And so it's MP making things happen for the Hornets. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Right back after this break. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely. The He's checked in for Green. And timeout is called by Charles Lee. And he wants to see some changes out there right away and right now. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And here's MP for three. The offensive rebound. And it's Williams finishing it off. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. And so in the game for the Hawks, Young and Bogdanovich are the guards. Riza Shea is out there with Hunter. And it's Okongwu in at the center position. And here's MP for three. Trains it from beyond the arc. MP's got 41. Coming right back, MP with a huge three. Pass to Okongwu. Bogdanovich with it, defended by man. Bogdanovich, no luck. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. MP, good. MP's got 18 points just in the second half. Well, they're just riding the hot hand down the stretch, and he's been in the zone all night. Ball against Young. And he's good on the three ball. Young's got 28 points for the game. After hitting nothing from downtown in the first half, that's his second make sense. He gets that one. And the Hornets lead by six. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Ball against Young. Hunter the pass to Okongwu. Back to Hunter. Okongwu with it. The Hawks working the ball around. Okongwu with the screen for Bogdanovich. His three-pointers off the mark. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. MP. 
And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on DeAndre Hunter. One of the things you love about MP is his appreciation for the history of the game, studying the former great players, weaving their strengths into his game. Miller's checked in for Charlotte. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Young, no good. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Back to ball. Pass to man. Screen by MP. Man gets the bucket. Man's got the lead up to 11 now for the Hornets. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Here's Charlotte now. They're on a 14-6 run. To the middle. Here's MP. Out to Miller. MP against Young. MP passes to Mann. Shot clock at six. Kicks it out to MP. Pass to Mann. Outside, ball. A three from MP. Atlanta with the rebound. High post, Young. And with the rebound. Mann's got four rebounds in this game. Back to MP. Williams passes to MP. And no good. Atlanta's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. Man finds MP. Another bucket. Wow. And as he continues to pile up the points, he is moving into elite company. Creeping up. Moving up on the fourth highest scoring season in league history. And Will Chamberlain holds so many of these top scoring marks. He's got this next one with 3,033 points set back in 1961. Miller, the pass to MP. And stolen by Hunter disappointing day for them. Let's see if they go down with the fight. Well, they definitely have some things to work out, and you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. And how about the awareness Hunter possesses? Understands when one of his guys has an opportunity. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. They've got to take the first good shot they can find. And they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. High drama here, guys. I mean, they've managed to get hot just when it looked like this thing was out of reach. And now they foul and stop the clock. Th that's right. No other option but the foul and hope for some missing. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. MP trying to shoulder the weight here. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a five-point game. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. Atlanta calls timeout. Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter. Turning here to our analysts, what factors, guys, come to your mind? No time to waste here. Quick bucket and a foul. Everybody has got to be in the exact perfect position defensively, and execution has got to be on point. And so they foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're behind by six. What's your take, guys? And a little late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I think he might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. Uh, 
You have to love that effort, getting after the basketball, fighting for a possession. So it's the Hornets picking up the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. Well, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit. Okay, most of the season has come and gone. We've seen all we've needed to see. Can we just give MP his Rookie of the Year already while he's still young? 